bringing the, before the uh, commissioners with regard to a bus shelter license agreement. This is uh, part of an initiative that uh, Lebanon Transit is working to uh, formalize a number of shelters throughout the county and various municipalities, primarily located along routes where um, they provide service, and they'd like to make it clear where the pickup and drop-offs are for transit. And as a result of the locations, they were a number of uh, candidates were cited. Uh, we went through further evaluation, having to sit down and look at all the ADA requirements to make those places compliant. And then at each individual level, places like Walmart, um, the Lebanon Plaza, where we're going to be putting shelters, work with the individual property owners to establish that. And that's one of the things we're working right now, actually. I have a meeting at 2 o'clock this afternoon to work with the city on some of those locations and making sure they're compatible. So one of the reasons we were bringing this agreement before you is as the, the county being the owner of the rail trail, we consulted with Jamie, uh, John Wingert, and Tom Cote as board members uh, about two locations that we'd like to place a shelter uh, that would be at 12th and Walnut, right where the crossing mm -hmm. is there. Uh, and the other one would be event at the eventual trailhead there off of Hanford Drive that uh, the, ED uh, the EDC had provided us the land to build it. That will have a component of a transit pickup, so not only the parking, but also their route going in and out of the business park there. So the reasons we were asking for these two sites is you as the property owners to be okay with signing off on that and then that will allow us to roll this in with our other agreement since it is in the city limits we need that when we present that information with the mayor. So that was our reason for trying to get in front of you on this Thursday. Excellent. I'll make a motion to approve the agreement, the license agreement for the bus shelters. Second. So moved and seconded. Any questions? You, you know, is it 28 or 30? Is it that they're trying to sprinkle around the county? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some of them have been ruled out simply because of circumstance. Some of it is the overall cost that they have budgeted. Uh, I mean, for some background, this um, the reason this project is important is this is an example where the MPO, we do what's known as a flex, where we will flex CMAC money to go help. Uh, with some of the projects that Lebanon Transit has. And what that does is that's following up on their business plan that they had done a couple of years ago of, you know, certain items they wanted to check off. And one of the things that we've tried to do is support this. And this is this was something we put on the tip and provided to Terry to undertake. And I think the, as I understand it from PennDOT's standpoint, is they were kind of using us as the pilot because of the complexities of what seems like it would be real simple. Um, every site that we look at, I mean, we had to evaluate a host of different things. Number one, the property owner being okay that the placement of it within that municipality, what are their requirements? Now, in some ways, for the county being the enforcement entity for those municipalities, you know, we, we're well versed in that. But for the ones that don't fall in, we have to work uh, as well there. And then some got eliminated just by process of either they got too costly um, and couldn't be done this round, so we have to tailor them back. But Terry's goal is to try to get the RFP out, you know, very shortly. So we. We're trying to make those last-minute push to get everything wrapped up. Okay. Been duly moved and seconded. Any further question or comment? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Both same sign. So moved. Thank, Thank you, John. Thank Appreciate you. It.